Kubiatar is a dream born idea to dream of being in two places at the same time. Once upon a time you used to call it ubiquity, now you can call it teleportation or anything else. It doesn't matter. The basic idea is that we can reduce the distances between people, between cultures, between different ideas of the world, and we can do that with modern mobile technologies. But with Ubiatar you can be instantly in zero time everywhere you want. It is something that we already saw in the Star Trek series when they told the teleportation guy, he must up Scotty. There is still a long way to go for teleportation, but thanks to our collaboration spirit and the idea of creating a global network, the Ubiatar app will allow anyone to achieve their goals without any limitation of time or space. All this is possible thanks to the work of a driven and motivated team of young professionals who work every day to improve Ubiatar in all its innovative services. The Ubiatar team is composed of young graduates and more experienced professionals who supervise the different departments. All our jobs are well defined but we do help each other in order to make sure we respect deadlines and overcome difficulties. It is nice to have a great synergy between the all different departments, from graphics to programming, through the setup of the individual commands up to the testing stage. During this process, we deal with all the details that are supposed to be fixed or improved. Periodically, we ask new professionals to join the development team, often interns and students as well, who are immediately put into action. Howard's is a very young team, and the atmosphere is always stimulating, even for new recruits. The graphic department takes care of everything that you see in Ubiatar. Our task consists in meeting the graphic requirements needed for the application, the website, and also for anything that is printed. Besides coordinating the graphic team, I am also responsible for the animation of the website and for all the screen of the app. In addition, in the spare time, I am also in charge of documenting all the adventures of the Ubiatar team in a cartoon version. One day, our efforts will go down in history, I think. It's incredible to think about how much graphic material there is to be produced every day. Besides the website and the app updates, every Ubiter video, photo and elements goes under our graphic scrutiny. For example, t-shirts, backpacks, caps, diaries, brochure. Post on social media, animated graphics, pens, etc. When you think on the Ubiter motto, be everywhere, it really means everywhere. The front-end department brings all the graphics to life. How can I easily switch from one view to another by simply clicking or scrolling your finger on a certain point on the screen? Well, that's what we do. In order for the Ubiatar app to work properly, things must be put in the right order. If something goes wrong, the application can enter into an infinite loop and stop working altogether. In the backend department, we take care of all information and actions that are triggered by a particular command. And we are also in close contact with the front-end department. It's a chain. You have to run a command, then the graphic represent it, the front-end sub make it possible for this action to run, and then I code everything else. Since this is one of the most boring parts, like code, 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 they often let me develop the sequence by myself. But every now and then I like to play some tricks, like uh, redirecting the user onto another site, or starting a different program, or turning off the smartphone completely. Having fun is really important. When you code, you always save the last word on each command in the backend. The exchange between backend and frontend is fundamental. If each command and step is run properly, then everything works like magic. The good thing is that our cooperation also goes well beyond our personal jobs. For example, once the whole system got jammed up and we all had to try to fix it. Yes, because in the UBATR team we are programmers, creative, engineers, but at times also electricians. And again, step by step, in the right order, everything starts working again. Ubiatar is an extremely innovative project, but first and foremost, it is a blockchain project. This means that it must be accompanied by precise and accurate programming in the world of smart contracts and cryptocurrencies. The real challenge here is that when something is coded, it cannot be changed. It's online forever. This means that any error could be fatal. Or, uh, rather said, if you make mistakes, uh, once the code is online, you cannot correct it. As if I had engraved an inscription in stone. For this reason, each step must be double-checked a dozen of times uh, before being approved. Otherwise, you risk creating a cryptocurrency based on, on kittens, uh, incomplete contracts or worse. 
Now we are preparing the fundamentals for the purchase of the UBTR coin, the UBTR cryptocurrency. This will allow people from around the world to exchange services on UBTR Play without having to exchange currencies every time. A single currency for a service that can unite all nations. Once everything has been designed, programmed, calculated and represented, the time for the test arrives. Every day the UBTA service goes through moments of analysis and experimentation. My department and I don't have a real office. We simply go around the world as avatars and directly test the UBTA technology in the field. By trying to show what we are observing, even without a real request from a user, we have the unique opportunity to share the wonderful travel experience we have while taking Ubiata to many wonderful countries on our promotional tours. When we test the app ourselves, we can immediately single out what works wonderfully and what doesn't, and therefore needs attention or fixing. In a world full of technologies, Ubiata Play mission is to make the most of the digital possibilities we all have, creating an app made by people for all the people. The human empowerment network is growing and it can become the basis of everyday life. No matter where you are, you can be everywhere!